Flashbacks, nightmares, severe anxiety. One in three veterans live with PTSD. Certified brain injury specialist Clint Pierman joins us now with more on this to talk a little bit because we know June 27th, tomorrow is National PTSD Awareness Day. Clint, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate your time. Talk about PTSD. We know it affects a lot of our military veterans, but there's so many issues involved with this. Tell us what it is and how people can help our veterans suffering from it. Excellent, thank you for that question. And thank you for having me also. So PTSD, when you understand the definition, it makes it easy to understand what it's all about and what it is. So a, a simple definition is PTSD is a psychological issue composed of a group of symptoms that may develop after a person has been exposed to a actual or threatened death, serious injury, sexual assault, um, uh, natural disasters. In other words, when a person is exposed to something that threatens their life, actual, or they actually witness it, mm -hmm. it can cause these types of symptoms where uh, they feel their life is threatened. When that occurs, especially in the veteran population, right. this can occur due to combat, being deployed, being shot at, being, being involved in blasts. But it can also, a little known um, uh, a piece of information about this is it can also occur in the civilian community. Mm. Police officers can experience PTSD, firemen, and the general public. Anyone that's involved in some type of an event that threatens their life can lead to PTSD symptoms. It's important for our veterans, especially in the San Diego County area, right, because right. we have over 76 homeless veterans nationwide, and San Diego ranks up there in the top for the largest, um, well, first of all, we have one of the largest communities of veterans, and second, we have one of the largest communities of homeless veterans, and many of those homeless veterans are there okay. because we didn't get them before they wound up homeless, suffering from PTSD and even traumatic brain injury uh, types of injuries. Yeah, big military town. You're right about that, Clint. Uh, I, I know you're not only a brain injury specialist, but you're a veteran yourself, right? I mean, uh, how does this PTSD affect our veterans when they come back? Does, is there something they can be doing to, to help with it? Yes. So, yeah, I actually was, I'm one of the lucky ones. I was lucky enough to spend 31 years in the Marine Corps and I got out okay. I, I think most people would say I'm okay, was able to, um, I'm okay. But, but many of our veterans, they don't have that story. They experience, and, and I should say, there is nothing wrong with the individual that gets PTSD. It's the environment that right. creates it. So, so I'm one of the fortunate ones, but that doesn't occur with many of our veterans. And the, the, the squad member of our organization that I was hoping to talk about, he had a great story. So this young man, um, Demetrius West, mm -hmm. he actually was a 101st Airborne Ranger, joined the Army, spent eight or nine years in the Army, was deployed, got out, struggled with post-traumatic stress disorder, wound up finding our organization, Wounded Warrior Homes. We were able to catch him before he wound up homeless, which is a wow. key because he told me this yesterday. The secret is getting veterans before they wind up homeless because right. once they wind up homeless, it makes that it makes the, the job of helping them get back on their feet that much more difficult. Incredible. But we caught him, he's one of the examples. We caught him before he wound up homeless, got into college, completed his college degrees, two of them actually, um, uh, and now is in the process of moving on, finding his own place, moving out of the system, That's great. and becoming what we like to say, going from wounded yeah. warrior to successful yeah. civilian. Now, Success what? story. We love to hear those, Clint. We got to run here, but I wanted to let people know you have information and resources. Where can people go to learn more about the great efforts you're doing? Absolutely. Visit our website. You can Google it, Wounded Warrior Homes. 
um, or the, well, that's the easiest way. Just Google Wounded Warrior Homes. We would love to love for you to visit us. You can learn more about us and see how you can help, especially our San Diego based yeah. veterans. Clint, thanks so much for your service. Thank you for your time. Thanks for spreading the word here this morning. Awesome. Thank you for having me.